Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. Again, I am so blessed to have you with me today and grateful for you, grateful that you're studying the Word of God. Uh, the Word of God is a lamp unto our feet. It's a light unto our path. And when we hide God's Word in our heart, the Word says we will not sin against God. And so that's really what we want today. We want to have Him speak to us through His Word. And that's why we always go to Him in prayer before we begin our study. Pray with me today, if you will. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks again today for your blessings, your goodness to us by giving us not only life and breath, but you've given us your word so that we might know you thereby. And so we invite you today to be a part of our study. We know that it's by you that we learn whatever we learn from your word, and we just want to add it to our lives as you teach us today. Uh, guide us by your Holy Spirit into your truth, we ask and also, Lord, to empower us to live according to that truth. We're just so grateful for you. We're thankful, Lord, and we are so. In Jesus' name, amen. The title to today's lesson is Cursed Not Knowing the Law. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 7, verse 49. The apostle John wrote concerning Jesus how then came the officers to the chief priests and the Pharisees, and they said unto them, Why have you not brought him? The officers answered, Never man spoke like this man. Then answered them the Pharisees, Are you also deceived? Have any of the rulers or of the Pharisees believed on him? And in chapter 7 and verse 49 of his book, John shared how the Pharisees said, This people who know not the law are cursed, where we read, But this people who know not the law are cursed. The verse reads, But this people who knows not the law. John began with the words, this people, but this people, or however, nonetheless, notwithstanding, and moreover, the Jewish people, both male and female, who knows not the law, which means that do not understand, perceive, discern, or have knowledge of the Mosaic volume of the law and its contents, exist as follows. John shared how the Pharisees proclaimed that people who believed in Jesus were unaware of and did not understand the law of Moses and were followed, therefore as follows. The verse continues, are cursed. John added the words are cursed, which means exist as a cursed, execrable, exposed to divine vengeance, and lie under God's curse. John shared how the religious leaders said the people who did not know the law were accursed and lie under God's curse. When we consider John's words in this verse, we learn how the religious leaders not only did not believe in Jesus, but they also thought anyone who trusted in him was without understanding to the law of Moses and were accursed. Oh, the extremes to which people will go when they will not believe in Jesus. And these religious leaders thought they had the answers while everyone else was under the curse of God. Jesus came to save, not to condemn. And when a person submits to him as their personal Savior and Lord, he will forgive their sins and grant them everlasting life. Those who are wise will search the law of God and his prophets and discover Jesus is indeed the Christ and Savior of the world. Next time, John shares about Nicodemus again. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.